For we may hope that Representative Sylvia will remain of sturdy heart and refuse to succor the parasiticals with such tributes, which they will surely use to torment others undeserving. This program is brought to you by Freekeen.com. You may wish before the traumatical hearing of this to avert your gazings, to muffle your ears, or sequester your children. Number one, living in his own uh, recreational vehicle. While uh, parked on his own property. Number two, failing to acquire governmental permission for the above. Number three, lacking a record of a working septic system, something which is uh, in a sense included almost by definition in the type of vehicle uh, Representative Sylvia is accused of owning. Oh, of the humanity. You may now uncover your ears. <clears throat> what, you ask, is the penalty this institution is intending, uh, intempting to levy against, uh, against these uh, purported tiny breaches of the rules they're so petty, if they even happened, that so mo uh, most of you probably did not know they were breaches. Breaches. They were breaches, as it turns out. That, as it turns out, is a matter of no large import, uh, barely even worth mentioning. The town merely wants from him legal fees plus uh, $160,000. We may ask ourselves, is this petty crusade greedier than Gecko, one which is uh, so vital that taxpayers should be compelled to underwrite judges and courtrooms for the process, perhaps many more expenses than this. But we may hope that Representative Sylvia will remain of sturdy heart and refuse to succor the parasiticals with such tributes, which they will surely use to torment others undeserving. Meanwhile, a sequence of options is always available on the workbench for reacting to intrusions of this variety upon private properties. If you lament, as I lament, this rapacious, potentially life-crushing muggerage of our ally, suspiciously or accidentally configured, so as to inflict a maximum possibly lawful terror upon all contemplating fiscally frugal public office. There are, uh, there are measures available. There is, of course, the apparatus of the, the demonstration. Perhaps it would, would, uh, it would not be inappropriate if one or more of these were lawfully undertaken outside uh, the homes of the perpetrators, for it is a, a home they have a comp, uh, accosted. Uh, the specter of a uh, right to know requests, of thrusting the tale further into the public consciousness, knowledge of which can only undermine the alleged legitimacy of that institution styling itself as the town of Belmont, and of monopoly civic governance 
in general. Uh, that is the measure uh, I have been undertaking thus far. Uh, upon the local uh, talk radio airwaves, but I cannot, uh, I cannot underwrite them all. There is the challenging, uh, I cannot, uh, <laughs> definitely cannot underwrite them all, I cannot undertake them all. <clears throat> uh, there is the challenging of, um, mm, oh, ooh, I am not, uh, I am not correctly positioned. There, there is the challenging uh, for election of those who are, uh, those diselectable office holders, who are, uh, if any, who bear responsibility for this abortion of justice. Oh, yeah, yes. Ah, uh, this abortion of justice, and, um, ah, uh, there is, um, there is the specter, specter of investigations, uh, preferably private, in, uh, in, in their funding. Uh, preferably not tax funded. Against the accusators and invaders themselves. Not all of these implementations will implement. But we may hope the deeper our authoritarian foes push into this section of front, the more formidable the defenses will become. They have not been formidable yet. But neither has the foray shown itself obviously profitable to the enemy yet. It took four dozens of months for the fabled and largely, uh, uh, largely uh, successful resistance against Ward Bird's prosecution at Moulton Barrow to become visible. Perhaps in this case as well, time is on the side of the freedomist. Nevertheless, we must ask, and ask you, uh, to answer in the comments below. Which of the above maneuvers, or of your own devising, will you undertake this week, or this year, to defend Mr. Sylvia's right of property that he, uh, now that he has taken office, and there, for over half a decade, so well defended yours, Driving in circles around Central Keen, I hurl both insults, angry and mean, against the activists from Free Keen, uh, who wander around thinking as though they were free, and even though they aren't hurting me, I will hate them hatefully. Urging their appearance in the penitentiary. Although that expense would be charged to me. I'm starting to feel somewhat confusedly.